this is Facilities Jeopardy. Please welcome today's contestants, Roger Buzinski, Pam Elliott Kane, and last but not least, Sherry Tone. So let's go to Going Green. Sherry, okay. you're up. We're going to go, oh, oh, oh. I gotta go back, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> We're press, pressing buttons here. Go ahead. Since 2007, campuses have achieved this percentage of reduction in carbon emissions, give or take 5%. And I gotta warn you that Sherry is very active in the sustainability committee of Nakubo and STARS and Aishi and other places. So she's sort of an expert on this, but so it's a loaded question. But five, campuses have achieved this percent of reduction in carbon emissions. Well, I don't know that I'm an expert on it, but I'm gonna say what is 13%? Yeah, she's got it right. Yeah, she's got it right. <laughs> See, I gave her that, I gave her I'm gonna have to take that out. Show it too quickly. Yeah, and no matter how you measure it, two ways of measuring utility emissions are per square student and per square foot. And so 13%. On your campus, you've been able to achieve what? About 10%. About 10%. I actually knew the answer to this yeah, question yeah, because you told me earlier. There's an answer. <laughs> okay, let's go to the $500 question. <laughs> This strategy is the major reason why carbon emissions are going down. The major reason, not the only reason, but a major reason why carbon emissions are going down. What is switching fuels from coal to natural gas and renewables? That's correct. In fact, uh, if we take a look at what's happening across the country, we're finding that um, in 2007, that's the, the natural gas was about 75% of the fuel mix it's now grown to almost 85% of the fuel mix. So what we're seeing is that not necessarily, we're not reducing carbon emissions because of conservation. We're not doing so great. We like to pat ourselves on the back. Carbon emissions are going down, but it's really because we've gone for more clean fuels and more renewable fuels. And now you've also switched over to hydroelectric, right? And you're, no, you're, geothermal. Uh, geothermal. We, we're switching to geothermal. Okay, so you've got, d done some fuel switching. Okay, so I'm gonna give her a harder question now, $1,000 question. These strategies have proven to be the most effective to simultaneously reduce backlog energy consumption and carbon emissions. Because we hear from CFOs all the time, we'd like to do more sustainability projects, but they're costly. And so can you find me some strategies that will do multiple things, reduce energy, reduce greenhouse gas, and reduce backlog? So I'm gonna give you multiple choice questions. Is it replacing old building components like HVAC systems? Is it upgrade or replace central heating plants? Is it purchasing RECs? Or is it fuel switching to natural gas? What are the things that are having the biggest effect to deal kind of the triple play, backlog, energy, and emissions? And there could be more than one right answer here. Um, what is A, B, and D? Now that's a debate, let's talk about okay. that. Because we would say A and B, but why do you think D is a it, it would in fact be a good strategy for reducing backlog. Uh, because you've switched out your old crummy boilers that burn coal to new high efficient turbines that use natural gas. I'm gonna go to our judges here. We got Jay and Sally. What do you think you're an expert in this area? Do you think we're gonna give her credit for that? Okay, we're gonna give her credit for that. So A, <laughs> B, and D. So. As we see, there's a lot of talk about energy conservation, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, but the real gains, carbon footprint really come from fuel switching, not from conservation. So there's still a ways to go. And smart CFOs really know that if they invest in projects like inefficient HVAC systems, upgrading utility plant, underground piping, Roger, you talked about that earlier, that you've gone, done some of that work, that, that can help them reduce the backlog of deferred projects, make the buildings and the heating delivery system work better, and ultimately also have the added benefit of reducing energy consumption and carbon emissions. So kind of get a triple play from there.